Tessia is a certified charity coach, trainer, facilitator. She helps corporate professionals with their mindsets to achieve a clear mind. Who doesn't need that? Better performance and better results. Tessia also works with Jenny Smart. I'm sure all of you have heard about his name. Sunday best time, Sunday Times best-selling author. And she's also working with the Clarity Academy, hosting international coaching training events. She's an accomplished professional public speaker and her, she's got so many engagements, I can't list it here. But the main important part, what I feel that touched upon when my heart was, she's into conferences in the UK and she you spoken about three principles in UK uh, conferences. I would love to know more about that, Lysia. But today, right now, I'm going to invite you to start sharing your knowledge as much as we can for the red card advice. And we also have the question and answers rounds open after she is done with her speech today. Lysia, her title for the day is Mentoring Magic. I'm sure everyone is going to ex everyone is excited about that. And um, Clesia, over to you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Pooja. Thank you, fellow Toastmasters, and very welcome guests. Mentoring magic. How many of you are mentors by a show of hands? Thank you. And how many of you would like to become mentors? by a show of hands. Thank you. And how many of you would like to impact many people's lives with your skills by a show of hands? Thank you. My name is Clazy Minch and today I'll be talking about the magic of mentoring. And why is mentoring important and how is that relevant for you? One of the things that I'll be covering is what I call the three main secrets of magic mentoring. I'll also be share what do you do when things don't go according to plan? And lastly, I'll be sharing a couple of stories of my mentoring experiences. Now, given that I'll be talking with you for the next 20 minutes, is it okay if I tell a little bit of my story pretty quick? Thank you. So I'll share my screen quickly and let me know if you can see this slide by show of hands. Just give me a thumbs up, please. Yes, or we can not. See. You can. Perfect. So as Pooja beautifully introduced, my name is Klesia Mendes. I'm a certified clarity coach, trainer and facilitator, an accomplished professional speaker. And she, uh, she, Pooja mentioned that she would like to hear more about the Three Principles Conference. And for the people that never heard about the Three Principles Conference, this is an annual conference that brings people from all over the world and every single year, over 1,000 people attend. These sessions are recorded and then people get access to the recordings. And given that many of the teachers that attend and speak to this conference have over 40 years experience, I felt humbled and honored when I was invited to speak. And also, uh, I work with Jamie Smart, who is a Sunday Times best-selling author. But that is wonderful. I do really cool things. But really, my passion is, how can I help people? How can I support people? And how can I inspire, inspire my mentees to move forward and go to the next level? So uh, why I'm qualified to speak about mentoring today? The last time I was asked to give a talk about mentoring, it was for a Toastmasters uh, training event and where we had over 400, yes, you heard it right, 400 training officers because all of them were interested in learning more about mentoring and why it was important and how they could take it to the next level. So I'm gonna share my secret number one. So pay attention. If you got pen and paper, be ready to jot it down. My secret number one for magic mentoring, I stand in the shoulders of giants. Write this down. I stand in the shoulders of giants. And what do I mean with that? Instead of talking about it, let me share a story. Because everyone loves stories. So by now, you should be able to see Dr. Rita Schufert's 
slide. And Dr. Jonita Schufert said about me, she said, Klesia brings energy, insight, and heart to her work. She has a knack for listening for what is important and will help you move people and projects forward. I have no doubt those who use her services will be helped immensely. And some of you may be asking, Klesia, and how is that relevant? That is relevant because I stand in the shoulders of giants. When I wanted to become excellent as a mentor, I seeked out and managed to hire. She accepted me. <laughs> I kind of, I did whatever I could have as a mentor. And given that she's such a well-known person in her industry with over 40 years experience, I wanted to learn from the best. So finally, 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 she accepted me. And I was able to get mentored by Dr. Rita Schufert, who has over 40 years experience, and she mentored me for one full year. And I'm going to explain very soon why is that relevant. So that is secret number one. I stand in the shoulders of giants. So I learn from the people that went before me because that can shorten my own journey. So who would like to, to do that, to take advantage and shorten their learning journey by a show of hands? Thank you. So I stand in the uh, shoulder of giants. So that is secret number one. Secret number two is clarity is critical. Write that down. Clarity is critical. Another way of saying that is start with the end in mind. And that is attributed to Dr. Stephen Covey. He said, start with the end in mind. And let me share with you an example of a mentee that I had and how that reflected in our mentoring relationship. So this is Kate Manthan, and she's the head of project management for a very well-known company. And she said, I had the privilege of benefiting from Klesia's mentorship for the last six months, and I found the experience to be invaluable. Klesia creates an environment of trust and confidence that enables you to openly discuss your goals very comfortably. She is invested in you, and has the skill to ask the questions that challenge you to think differently. And here's the key, to get the roof of what you want to achieve. Clarity is critical. While she is the utmost professional in her approach, she is also informal with a great sense of humor that makes the conversations really enjoyable. I would recommend Klesi to anyone who wants guidance on how to approach their goals with a new and different mindset. So. Clarity is key. That is second number two, secret number two. And the third secret, the third secret is excellent as well. But before I share the third secret, let me share what another of my mentees said, because there, there are certain things that I'll say in my speech that very explicit, and, but there are certain secrets that are underlying the testimonials. And when you pay attention, you start seeing the, the patterns. So just pay attention to what another of my mentees said. And first of all, I'm gonna share the screen. And this is Linda Caprice, who's director of a, a company over here in UK. And she said, I would highly recommend Klesia as a mentor. She is like a light switch. She knows how to press the right buttons to make you shine. When I have needed clarity of thought, motivation, or even interview practice, she has been the great of great assistance, giving me the guidance and encouragement. Thank you so much. Again, the word clarity is over there. Clarity is critical. And before I, I say, before I get into the, the third secret, let me tell you actually a story when things didn't go according to plan. Because like I said, in the beginning of my journey, I started by standing in the shoulders of giants. And early in my journey as a mentor, uh, I was taking a clarity trainer training certification. And part of my criteria was that I had to mentor for a one full year, I had to mentor six highly accomplished professionals. 
No problem, I said, I can do this because I've got my trusted mentor. Let's do it. Let's move forward. Uh, I am an engaged learner, so I can do that. And funnily enough, five of my mentees were doing amazing. They were coming to all our mentoring sessions. They were doing the follow-up work. They, are, they were producing way more than we had agreed on. They were doing fantastic. But one of my mentees wasn't doing so well. And it's not because they, they weren't working hard. They definitely were working hard. But one of the challenges that we were experiencing is, I, I don't know if you ever had an experience. Um, how many of you are parents and have teenagers or had teenagers? Oh, I can see two hands over there. You know what? They used to be really lovely. And then all of a sudden, they become kind of difficult to deal with. And you don't know what happened to my child, right? What happened to my sweet boy or my sweet girl? So. This mentee in particular, it was like that. And our relationship was almost quite often, it felt like I was pushing a boulder uphill. I was putting effort, 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 effort. I was investing, I was in the latest techniques. I was really engaged. I was really committed to her growth. But every single session between the two of us was hard and was difficult. And I wasn't having any fun at all. And this went on for six months period. And after six months, I, I basically, I, I had to reflect on, uh, was this being beneficial for us at all? And I was at that stage where I was, she never heard, learned this, by the way. I was in that stage where I was ready to fire her as a mentee, because I can do that. I was ready to fire as a mentee. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, Klesia, that is harsh. I appreciate your point of view, someone nodded. I, I appreciate you've got a soft heart. I put a lot of thought into that, but I got to that point. He said, enough is enough. This is not working for us because all that friction was, uh, make, was be, making very challenging to me and also to help the other mentees. But in one moment of clarity, remember clarity is critical. In one moment of clarity, an idea occurred to me and said, Klesia, why don't you reach out to your mentor, Dr. Shuford, and you know, hear what she has to say about it? And I, I did that, and I pride myself of being an excellent mentee myself. So I, I reached out to Dr. Shuford. Can we have a conversation? She said, absolutely, and we got over Zoom. And I explained the situation, just like I said to you. I, I said, I'm really committed to this person. She, this is all that she wants to achieve, but the situation is not working. And I really feel that all that negative energy is detracting me for, to, from being present with the other mentees as well. And then my mentor asked me a few questions. She said, Klesia, is that okay with you if I ask you a few questions? And I said, of course, absolutely. She said, is your mentee, the one you're thinking about firing, attending all your mentoring sessions? And I said, well, sometimes she rescheduled but she's attending the mentoring sessions. She said, great. Is she going through the, all the workbook, all the, the work that you're supposed to go through? Is she doing that? I said, yes, I'm a fair person. Yes, absolutely, she's doing that. She said, in, in that case, I would become curious. That was not the answer I was expecting because I was expecting my mentor to agree with me, with me that would be a good idea to fire my mentee. But no, she said, I would become curious. And I said, Dr. Shuford, what would you become curious about? She said, I would become curious about what is it in your mentee that prevents her from getting what she came for, even though she's attending all the mentoring sessions and she's going through all the work. I would become serious about that. I said, okay. And I, I agree with Dr. Schufer that I would have a go at that. So next session, I am with this mentee and I became curious. I be, we're having a conversation about their goals, what they would like to do for the, next, for the next four months. And I really became curious. So the friction is still there, but I'm curious. And because I'm curious, I'm relaxed. You know, I'm not as intense. And you can see that I'm kind of leaning back and say, I'm enjoying the conversation. I am enjoying us and this connection. And as I became curious, all my judgment I had about my mentee just fall away. And all of a sudden, we fell into this space of connection. And we found common ground that I was not expecting. And after that session, we kind of fell into a, what I call magic of mentoring. 
and she became my favorite mentor, mentee. So if you are wondering, I did not sack her. I did not fire her as a mentee. And we had a very fruitful relationship until the end of the program. And the reason why I share this story is not my most proud moment, but I became a better mentor because I had that challenging situation and because I stood in the shoulder of giants and I seeked help from Dr. Shuford. So I stand in the shoulders of giants, giants, clarity is critical, and secret number three. Who's ready for secret number three? Yes, who <laughs> just two hands up. Perfect. Secret number three is feedback is the breakfast of champions. Feedback is the breakfast of champions. And one of the things that I always did during my mentoring relationship, and when I say always, on a monthly basis, uh, when, I'm, when I'm mentoring people, right now I'm, uh, I mentor people within the Toastmasters program, on a monthly basis, I send them the feedback form. And feedback, there is a very specific way the questions are laid out and everything is put in the service of the mentee. And is a, a give and take relationship. But I want them to find out, number one, that I create a safe, secure space for them to bring the best out of themselves and that it, whatever they say, they won't be judged for it. And I'm there for them for whatever the time we are working together. Either that, that would be one year or six months. That is usually, usually is the time that we work together. So let me share with you Let me share with you. So when I was taking the, the clarity, the trainer certificate, uh, because I didn't suck my mentee, I did get certified at the end. So <laughs> you can see over here that I'm definitely a certified clarity trainer and facilitator. And in terms of asking for feedback, just pay attention to one, what one of my mentees is saying from the Toastmasters program. And this is available on LinkedIn, uh, it's public. So anyone will be able to read it, she said. Classy six month mentorship program has helped me develop my communication and listening skills, both in a Toastmasters, Toastmasters context and in my professional life. Classy is a dedicated mentor who focuses on asking the right questions, giving me the opportunity to find the answers I am looking for. Having Classy as a mentor made me a more confident speaker and I would recommend her mentorship program to anyone. And one of the many things I love about Andrea, and I, I do love working with all of my mentees, even th that challenging one, um, is that every single person that I've worked with in the past, they are committed people, they are hardworking, and they really want to move forward. And uh, I, actually, I would like to give you, share with you a very quick story about Andrea. Um, when I was looking for a new mentee, my, my agenda opened up and I discovered that I had space for one new mentee. So I emailed the vice president of education. And as soon as they discovered that I had some time, they swiftly emailed me back and say, Klesia, we've got two very keen mentees. Would you be willing to take two mentees instead of one? <laughs> and I'm a busy person like all of you are. Uh, like Pooja said, even if you don't have children, you still are busy. And I thought I only had space for one person, but because they, I, I knew about, the, I was aware of them. I already knew of them. I know they are hardworking people and I really wanted to support these people. So I said, okay, um, let, me, let me do something. I'll get in contact with them and then let's see who responds first because I, I like to work with the people who take action first. So I sent them an email and say, hi, just to let you know that my agenda opened up. I've got space for one new mentee and whoever gets back to me the quickest will be my, my chosen one. You know, <laughs> I like people to take action. And within 19 minutes, a person got back to me straight away. And I thought, I've got a winner. And then within two days later, a second mentee got back to me. And I thought, okay, um, you know, after reflection, I decided, you know what, I'm going to take the two of them at the same time. So we started working together. And funnily enough, Andrea was the person who replied in second place, but she was so committed so focused and she was the person who grew the most in the relationship and one of her um i guess goals was to change jobs and at the time when we we started working together she transformed from someone that was very shy that didn't have any levels on the toastmasters environment yet and within six months she had gained two levels 
Uh, she started winning uh, Toastmasters competitions and she landed her dream job. All of that within six months. Did I help? Absolutely. Who can take the credit for it? She can because she was the one who did the work. So the magic is always within the mentee. You know, I, I, I know stuff, but the magic is always in the, within the mentee because they are the ones who take the action. So we're coming to a close. So just to recap, the three secrets for magic mentoring are, number one, I stand in the shoulders of giants. Number two, clarity is critical. And number three, feedback is the breakfast of champions. Thank you very much for your attention. Over to you, Madam Toastmaster of the day. I think it completely deserves a big round of applause, though, and Toastmasters, because in a virtual setting, this is what we generally use. So feel free to use this, use this, or maybe put like wonderful reaction buttons that we have on your panel on the Zoom that my teenager taught me, Tristia, <laughs> but how to use all those reaction buttons because I was completely new. Thank you so much for these three uh, golden nuggets. In fact, I'm going to take it forward and make sure that I help improvising my people's life when I'm coaching or my coaches. Thank you so much, Gracia. We have question and answers round. 